Hi, my name is Kim. I'm a nursing student at LR. Do you mind if I do a cardiovascular and peripheral vascular system assessment today? Okay. Um, have you had any history of any cardiovascular issues? Uh, any peripheral vascular issues? No. All right, so first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at your skin. Um, your skin does look tan on the outside, a little pale on the inside. Um, have you had any trouble breathing? No. Okay, don't see any dyspnea. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all your pulses. So the first pulse that I'm going to be looking at is her aortic pulse, which is the second the second intercostal on the right side. On the right side. So okay. The second the second one I'm gonna look at is her pulmonic, which is um the second intercostal on her left side. Okay. Um the third one I'm gonna look at is your herbs. So I'm just gonna pull your ball down a little bit, but the herbs is her third intercostal, which is on her left side as well. Next, I'm going to look at your tricuspid, which is your fourth intercostal, which is also on your left side. I'm just going to lift this up a little bit. Look at your intercostal. Okay. And then the last one I'm going to check is your mitral, which is your fifth intercostal, which is medial to your mid clavicle line. So I'm just going to lift the shirt up one more time. I'm just going to look. Alright, let's go. So next I'm going to just palpate on the same area that I checked. So I'm gonna go aortic, pulmonic, herb, tricuspid, and then your mitral. So I'm just gonna check your airway. And I'm gonna go to your pulmonic. Next I'm gonna do your herb. Alright, so your pulse is full good there. Um, next I'm going to check your next I'm going to check your PMI, which is on your fifth intercostal space. So yeah, okay. And your blood pulse um, size is about roughly one to two centimeters. Um, I don't see any abnormalities. Um, so next, I'm just gonna do an aus auscultation. So I'm just gonna listen to the same spots that I palpated on and looked at. So. Alright, so I'm just going to look at your aortic. Alright, so your aortic sounds really good. I don't hear any splitting. Um, for the moment, it sounds normal, being normal. Next, I'm going to check your pulmonic. Alright, pulmonic also sounds good. I don't hear any um splitting beat sounds normal as well next i'm going to check your herbs all right beat sounds normal don't have any splitting next i'm going to check your tricuspid Sounds good. Don't hear any splitting. Normal beat. And then I'm going to check your mitral. Pulse 
Both sounds normal. Don't hear any splitting. Sounds good. Next, I'm going to check your apical um, area. So, I'm just going to listen to that for a full minute. So I did hear about 75 beats, that's really good. Um, next I'm going to check your epigastric area, so I'm just going to pinch on your stomach and I'm looking for your aortic pulse. I'm just going to pinch my lips a little. I can't really feel it because like, I have my nails, but Basically, I would feel your aortic pulse by just pinching on your epigastric. Um, so that's going to complete the cardiovascular. So now I'm just going to do the peripheral vascular um, assessment on you. So what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to look at your full body skin color. So um, it does look a little bit lighter up here, more tan at the bottom. Um, I don't see any abnormalities anywhere on your body. Um, Skin appearance looks very smooth, normal. Um, I'm gonna check your um, hair distribution. So I'm just kind of pulling your arms. And then filling your legs. So hair distribution seems evenly. Um, do you shave? Yes. I did, so I can't tell that like she shaved, um, but you still can feel like the evenly distributed hair from like the stubs of it. Um, Okay, next I'm going to check Okay, alright, now you're going to check your peripheral pulses. So first I'm going to check your radial pulse. So I'm just going to go from your thumb down here. You're just going to feel for your pulse. Okay, I'm going to go on the left side, do the same thing from thumb down, I'm going to fill right here. Alright, next I'm going to check your brachial pulse. I'm just going to fill right here. Alright, good. Now let's check your other arm here. Right here. Okay. Next, I'm going to check your cardiac pulse. So you can fall right here. Good. I can feel your pulse. This is your feeling real good. I'm going to check the other side of your cardiac. Pulse feels good. Next, I'm going to check your brown, so I'm just going to put my fingers so I can lay your legs down real quick. Alright, I'm just going to fill right here. Alright, okay. I'm just going to look up for right here. Alright, your forearm, I can feel your pulse, looks good. Next, I'm going to do your. I'm going to fill for your. Dorsum. I'm going to fill on the dorsum of your foot. So if you can just screw it out your foot and then put your foot up. I'm just going to take your shoes off and your sock so that they can see. Alright, so I'm just going to do, let me see. Okay, I'm just going to fill right here. Alright, next I'm going to fill your 
pos posterior tibialis I go to check your posterior tibialis. Okay, next I'm going to check your edema, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to push down on your foot, see if it pops back out, I'm going to do it for 5 seconds, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, alright, it looks good, and I'm going to check your shin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, looks good. Then I'm going to check your medial malices. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, that looks good. So um, your edema would be on a one. Next, I'm going to check your calf. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to hold it like this. And I'm just going to push your foot forward. Do you feel any pain or tenderness? Mm -hmm. Alright, great. Alright, so do you have any questions for me today? I do not. All right, well, that completes my health assessment today. Thank you very much for letting me do my assessment on you.